How's it going everyone? It's Kevin here, a movie collector maniac. So recently a fellow YouTuber, uh, Miranda, over at Miranda's Movies Madness, uh, posted a video about a Big Lots movie haul. So I decided to go to my Big Lots and see what I could find, because she said they uh, put out some new movies recently. So anyway, I'll post a link to her uh, latest video if you want to see what she picked up. Yeah, I got a coupon from uh, Big Lots in my email for being a rewards uh, member I guess and uh, they had a coupon for uh, $10 off uh, $40 or more so anyway when I went up to the cash cash register uh, I asked them like can I m use this multiple times and they said I think you can so anyway I got them to do $40 worth of purchases and then do the coupon and then uh, pay for that order and then uh, do it again over and over until until I used what I could up. So I ended up saving like 40 bucks because I guess I think I did four different purchases. So I saved 40 bucks plus it uh, seemed like they gave me a couple of free ones as well. I don't know how that happened, but one of them, yeah, one of them didn't have a label on it and I think they... Just gave me that one for free, I guess, since it didn't have no price on it. So, yeah, I found a few movies over at uh, Big Lots and some TV shows as well. But anyway, let's get into the video and I'll show you what I picked up. All right, first one I got is 13 minutes on Blu ray. Came with a slip cover and I paid 304 for that one with uh, the $10 off if you buy $40 or more. Next, I have this. 30 for 30 uh, season 2 DVD set, but I only paid uh, $3.80 for this one. Next we have this uh, American Trader, The Trial of Axis Sally on Blu-ray, and I got this for $3.04. Next I have the movie Calvary. This one was actually listed for $8.99. I got it for $6.84 with a discount. I guess it's pretty expensive online. Like 15 to 20 dollars or something it's supposed to be pretty good it's got a 7.4 rating next i have capone on blu-ray this one's uh stars tom hardy doesn't really have a good rating it's only a 4.7 uh got it for three dollars and three cents also has matt dillon in that one next i have this dvd uh comes a horseman from 1978 stars uh james con Jane Fonda and Jason Robards. Uh, this one I got it for four dollars and ninety cents, and it's got a six point three rating. Another western movie, my western collection. Next, I have this movie County Line from two thousand seventeen. It's got a six point zero rating. Stars uh, Tom Wopat from uh, Dukes of Hazard TV series fame and i paid two dollars and 28 cents for this one i think i've actually seen this one uh on streaming or something it was pretty good next i have county line no fear so i guess it's the it's like this i guess they made a couple of sequels of county line i'm not sure if this is the second or third one but it came out in 2022 it actually has a 7.2 so it's actually better than the first one and I paid three dollars and three cents for this one. I want to hang out this Crocodile uh, Dundee, Crocodile Dundee two, two movie collection on Blu-ray. Uh, paid four dollars and ninety cents for this one. Next, I have The Curse of La Llorona. I'm not sure how you, uh, if that's pronounced right or not, but it's got a five point three. Thought I'd go ahead and check it out. It's got, uh, let's see, yeah, I paid $4.08 for this one. Next is the movie The Cursed. This one is from 2021. It's got a 6.2 rating, so it's a pretty decent rating, I guess. Paid $3.04 for that one. Next, I have this D-Day codename Overlord. Picked this one up. Uh, I was probably going to give this one to my dad. But I got it for three dollars and four cents. Next, I have this ESPN Films collection, Volume One, and I got it for three dollars and eighty cents. Main reason I got this one is because it's got uh, the Herschel Walker one right here. I'm a big uh, Georgia Bulldog fan, so 
that's the reason I got that one. Next we have Every Breath You Take. This one's got only a 5.3 rating. So I guess it's kind of decent. Anything around the 5 to 6 range is usually pretty decent. Uh, it's got Casey Affleck and Michelle Monaghan in it. And I got it for $3.04. Next is this movie called Ghosts of War. It's got a 5.6 rating. I thought this would be kind of interesting. I think it's based on uh, the stories in uh, World War II time. But I guess they're like holed up in some kind of haunted mansion or something. Got it for $3.80. So... Uh, check it out next i got this god not dead a light in darkness i really haven't picked this one up because i got the other two gods not dead but i still haven't watched those this one i got for three dollars and four cents next i got this grease collection it's got grease and grease 2 and grease live uh of course i got grease on uh 4k but i didn't have grease 2 or uh, grease live but i'm pretty sure grease live is not all that great uh, but I got these for like, uh, it was like six eighty five or something for this. I just listed there each for like two twenty eight and two twenty nine a piece. But yeah, even Grease Two has only got a four point five rating, but it's got Michelle Pfeiffer in that one. Two twenty nine, yeah, two twenty nine there and two twenty eight for this one, I believe. All right, I got this uh, Harry Potter uh, and the Deathly Hollies Part 2 just because the lenticular uh, slipcover, basically. <laughs> it's pretty cool. But, of course, I paid $5.32 for that slipcover, basically, I guess. Next, I have this movie, Hidden, from 2015. It stars uh, Alexander Skarsgård. And yeah, it's got a 6.4 rating, so it's pretty pretty decent. Uh, I got it for $3.04. I think it's like a post-apocalyptic type thing or something. Something about it. Or they go to Fallout Shelter to avoid a dangerous outbreak, it says. Should be pretty interesting. Next, I have this movie, The Last Victim, on Blu-ray. Uh, it doesn't have a great rating, 4.9. I guess kind of okay. But it stars uh, Ron Perlman and Allie Larder. And I got it for $3.04. Next, I have the movie My All American from 2015. It's got a 7.1 rating, so it's really pretty good. And it stars uh, Aaron Eckhart. And I think it's based, yeah, it's based on a true story. And I got it for $4.08. Next, I have this movie No Man's Land. This is from 1987. Got Charlie Sheen and it's got a 6.1 rating so it's pretty good uh, it's also got D.B. Sweeney Randy Quaid uh, Bill Duke and M. Emmett Walsh those are about the only ones I know but yeah I got it for three dollars and four cents I think the blu-ray I think is from Kino Lawyer and it's like out of print I think like 80 bucks or something like that. Next is the movie Open 24 Hours. It's a horror movie from 2018. Got a 5.5 rating, so it's kind of decent. Uh, and it doesn't really have any well-known actors in it that I see. But I got it for $2.28. So. Next is this movie Ophelia from 2018. It's got a 6.5, so it's pretty good. And it's uh, based in, in like, looks like it's based in like medieval type times or something, but it's got uh, Daisy Ridley. Of course, you know her from uh, Star Wars. And then it's got uh, Naomi Watts. And I think it's got Clive, yeah, Clive Owens in it as well. And I paid $4.08 for that one. Next, we have this movie Out Cold from uh, 1989. It's got a 5.5, so it's pretty decent. Uh, so you got, uh, you got Terry Gar, John Lithgow, uh, Bruce McGill, uh, Randy Quaid's in this one is also, and I got it for $2.45. Next I have this movie, The Professor and the Madman from 2019. It's got a 7.2 rating, which uh, is pretty good. It stars, uh, Mel Gibson and Sean Penn. Also has Eddie Marson, Natalie Dormer from The Game of Thrones. Got Steve Coogan, 
Jeremy Irvine. And I paid three dollars and twenty six cents for that one. Next is a TV series from way back in nineteen fifty nine called The Rebel. This is season one. It has seven point eight rating, so it's pretty good. And I don't never even heard of this, but it's a western. And let's see. Paid four dollars and fifty six cents for that one. Got thirty six episodes on it. Next, I have this two movie pack. It's got a uh, Reservation Road and Return to Paradise on it. Reservation Road is six point six. Return to Paradise is six point nine. So they are both pretty good r rating on those. Walk Walkwind Phoenix. I, I can't pronounce his damn name. Yeah, I think he's in both of these. This one also has Elle Fanning, Jennifer Connelly, uh, Mark Ruffalo, Mira Sorvini, Sorvino, Savino. Uh, and I paid dollar sixty-three for each movie. It's like three twenty-six for this whole two-disc set. But yeah, Return to Paradise has Vince Vaughn and Hatch. Of course, Ver uh, Wokon Phoenix again, and then Vera Farmiga, Jada P Pinkett Smith. All right, this next movie is called Samson. It's only got a 4.5 rating, so it's not all that great, but I like I like movies that are back in olden times and stuff. This one didn't have a label on it, and evidently they gave gave it to me for free. So I got this movie for free because it wasn't on my receipt. All right, next we have The Secret Scripture from 2016. It's got a 6.7 rating. This one was actually pretty high, $7.99, but I paid $6.08 for it. So, and you got uh, Eric Bana and Runa Mara in this one. Rooney Mara. How do you pronounce her name? Alright, next I have this DVD. It's called Slayers. Does not have a good rating. Only 3.2. Uh, but it's a horror movie. Based on uh, vampire, vampire killers and stuff. Vampire hunters. Looks like it would be better than 3.2 with, with the cast. I mean, you got Thomas Jane and you got Abigail Breslin, but... You mean you got a uh, Malin Ackerman? But yeah, I only paid two twenty eight for it. Next, I have this Blu-ray of Spencer from twenty twenty one. It's got a six point six rating. Stars uh, Kristen Stewart, but I got it for three dollars and eighty cents. Next, this is movie Street Smart from nineteen eighty seven. It's got a six point four rating. It's got Christopher Reeve and uh, Morgan Freeman in this one. Got Kathy Baker, Mimi Rogers also. And I got it for three dollars and twenty six cents. Next is the movie The Survivalist. Uh, the Blu-ray. It's got a slipcover. It came out in twenty twenty one. Does not have a great rating, three point five. But thought I'd go ahead and grab it. What the hell? Uh, but yeah, got it for three dollars and twenty six cents. Next, I found this uh, Swamp Thing. The series, volume two. Basically, you got season three. Uh, the first part of season three, and it's from 1990. It's got a 6.3 rating on the TV series. And for some reason, they didn't charge me for this either. I don't know how I got it for free, but it's supposed to be 4.99. So I really probably would have got it for like 4.08 or something. But yeah, I guess I guess I had so many movies they just gave me a couple of them for free. Next this is a movie called Thunder War. I guess the original title called Pana Pan for Laws twenty eight or something. It's got a six point seven rating, so I thought I thought I'd go ahead and grab it since it's pretty pretty good rating. Uh but it's based on uh, World War Two. Based on Russia against Germany. Got it for two dollars and forty five cents. Alright, the last couple I got are actually wrestling uh, DVDs and one Blu-ray. Got the DVD of WWE Smackdown, the best of 2009-2010. Paid $4.56 for it. Regular $5.99. And then I got this WWE Best of 1996 Prelude to Attitude. 
and I got it for 456 and the last one I got is John Cena the John Cena experience and I got it for four dollars and ninety cents on Blu-ray. That's my big lost movie haul. Thanks for watching everybody. And I'll see y'all on the next video.